Clement. Uh, bonjour. Great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Always. What a brilliant performance today. It dropped three games. First time you did that in a match in, in two years. Did it feel as good as it looked out there? Felt good. You know, it felt good. Um, for me, uh, you know, it's always, uh, you know, pleasure to come back here. And uh, I felt like today my movement was great. Um, hitting big the ball, um, you know, adapt myself a little bit because it's a little bit windy today and uh, just felt good. And sometimes it's good, you know, to, to be out there and win uh, quite comfortable. But uh, I tell you, I was 100% every point, so yeah, it, 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 it looks easy, but it was not that easy. You know, Gail, everyone says, uh, many people say you're, you're the greatest athlete to have played this sport because you can do everything, run, jump, and so forth, and you've used that so well in your game over the years, but as you've gotten older, how have you, how have you adjusted? How have you brought up other weapons to complement the movement also? A lot of workout, that for sure, you know, but... Um, I need to stay a little bit closer from my baseline uh, time to time. Um, I guess I need to step up uh, a little bit uh, more also uh, on some points. I can't just rally, uh, even I wish on time. But uh, yeah, I, I need to ad adjust a little bit my position on the court. And uh, of course, with the experience, I have a different reading of the game. So tactically, uh, I will play um, a little bit different. But. Uh, this, it, it depends about the, the opponent, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, you got all the tools, so, so why not? Um, I had an interesting chat with Andy Murray yesterday, and we were talking about how, how much the game has evolved, especially in the last five years. And I remember when you came on as a youngster, you were playing guys like Leighton Hewitt. Yeah. So for you, what has been the biggest evolution of the game in recent years? Speed. Speed. Uh, also, I think everybody now is uh, quite physical. Uh, the... <laughs> The youngsters, they hit uh, quite big the ball, big. like uh, big, honestly, <laughs> uh, I'd say quite big, but massive, to be honest. And the speed, I think the game uh, goes faster and faster, um, big serves, uh, guys running. Everybody is an athlete now in the draw, to be honest. Uh, maybe back then, uh, sorry for a few guys, but they were a good tennis player, but not an athlete, uh, not a complete athlete. Now, I think everybody is running fast, like quite strong legs, strong body, and ready you know to to suffer so you know that's the big change i guess makes it exciting to watch and prakash brings up andy murray when he was up here we asked him who are his favorite players to watch play you were one of them that that stood out to him well, what's your reaction to that and who are your favorite players to watch so thanks to him you know um he is a, such a legend so of course for me you know it's uh, it's been a lot uh, we grew up together and you know everything that he achieved and what he's doing now still you know i think it's uh, it's unbelievable so you know for me i, I take it like uh, it's a big thing uh i like to watch um i won't say almost everybody but i'm interested uh, you know about uh, everybody because everybody has uh, a different way uh, to to see the game, uh, the focus, the the meaning. So I always like you know to see uh, like some serious person that's super serious, and then some you know a little bit less, and some playing every point. So I I, I don't you know say that uh, particularly I like this one or this one, but um, yeah, a mix of everybody. Okay, listen, I, I love seeing you win for a variety of reasons. One, we get to watch more tennis from you, which is beautiful. Two, you're a great dude, but also your celebrations. Always on point. And one of my favorite of all time in the sport is, has always been, you know, Wakanda forever. And that, you, you brought it back recently. Because I'm so, ready. Because you're right. Come on, man. That's <laughs> Let's go. Man, that's what I'm talking about. No, that's okay. why, you know, that's, that's why, why I felt like, you know, my body is ready to, to, to go, you know, to go. And, and that's why, you know, you... When you do a celebration, you know, it, it's, it's meaningful, you know. People think it, it, it's not just a joke or something is meaningful. It's like, it's a, yeah, it's a message that I sent out there that, hey guys, I, I'm really back, I'm there, you know, and I'm there, you know, and so that's why I do again this celebration. It's a powerful celebration, so I need to be powerful, so that's why I'm ready. Wow, so tell me what happened when it, when it went away? What was the, the process there? Hey, it's tougher, you know, your body, uh, you know, I, I work hard to, to get back in shape. Uh, I was almost like nine months, completely off you know like doing nothing and then you come back and it's not easy to get the rhythm and and, and everything so you know when you have a win you know you're a bit shy and yeah you, you, inside of you you know you're not ready you know you're not really ready you know it's a good win it's, it's, but yeah but you know now uh, i feel ready 
It, 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 listen, I, I love when you share, and you've been so generous over your career to kind of open up and share your heart, not just with the guys in the locker room, but also with, with the whole audience out there. Have, have you felt that connectivity as well very strongly with, uh, with your fans over the years? I try, you know, as you just saying, you know, I try to be really open with my fans and, 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 and with them, you know, you can't lie. I don't really lie to myself. Um, I say when, you know, I... I'm doing stupid stuff, and but I told them, you know, when I feel good, and it's not because I feel ready that you know I'm going to win. I, I, I try to explain them, you know, I just feel ready that you know I put the work on, my body is better, you know, I'm for once I'm not really hurt. Yep. So it's mean that uh, my mindset is is there, you know, to 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 try and to to achieve anything. But yeah, of course, tomorrow I can lose, and doesn't matter because I'm ready, you know. So you know, they they know I'm sharing with them. We try to be. Close with no my fan and and let's see. And they love you okay. so much. Uh, before we let you go, you and Alina, obviously, kind of the OGs of, of the new age of tennis relationships with Gem's life. And then we had Sitsi Dosa come up with, with <laughs> Stefanos and Paula. And now we've got Alex Dimonor and Katie Bolter that at the top of, of their game. What advice would you have for them to, to keep that going? Is there like a little rivalry now to see who has the highest ranking among the tennis power couples? <laughs> that, <laughs> that for sure not, but it, it would be fun actually to have a, maybe an exhibition where with all of uh, with all of us, you know. But uh, no, the advice. He, I feel like Alex is uh, is playing uh, his best tennis in his life, you know. Let, let, let's 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 be honest, you know. He's top ten. Uh, I think he can achieve uh, more, you know. And then uh, I wish him to achieve it. And uh, Katie just also, she's been battling with uh, a lot of injuries and now she can uh, finally play a back-to-back, -back, win uh, her bigger title. So that's that's very good for her. And, and of course, you know, she can share with Alex. That's, that's, that's lovely, to be honest, that's lovely. And then uh, I'm happy to see them. And of course, Steph and, and, uh, and Paola, you know, great, you know, it's great, you know. And uh, definitely, you know, uh, there's no uh, rivality. Just love and uh, but you know we should maybe do do something all together you know like uh, it would be amazing it, it, it would be cool cool little exhibition yeah. all the tennis power couples yeah she would call it love means everything love means everything you know, yeah. you know like <laughs> you know set up like tennis but uh, also like you know it can be like fun with fans you know question do you really know your girlfriend <laughs> or your wife you know what I mean yes like you know it can be quite cool actually points you know? for the tennis and points for the questions exactly also. you know That's good. That's good. we know some people at tennis channel so maybe we can we can make this happen or we'll put it on T2, put it on Tennis Channel, 100%. TC Plus. 100%. It's always a pleasure to have you here Thank with you us. For, me. for everybody out there, the man is ready. Wakanda Forever is back. Gael, best of luck going forward. Thank you so much. Thank you.